Well, hello, Leos. Hello, Leo, Leo, Leos. How are my Leos doing? Before I forget to say in the video, I'm going to say it right now before I do anything. Happy birthday to all the July and the August Leos. Happy birthday. Um, I'm, I'm planning to get this video out. I'm doing this, recording this earlier than everyone else's, so I can get it out at the beginning of your season, okay? All right. So welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Hello. And welcome back to anyone who's returning, especially my tribe. What's up, my tribe? If you're a part of my tribe, consider subscribing and joining the tribe. All right. So we're going to be doing your <clears throat> general overall energies for the month of August 2020, Leos, just to get, kind of get an idea of what might be going on in your life for August and moving forward. Okay. This is a general read, however, so do keep that in mind. So this may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, all right? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. It covers all the placements in your chart. If this does not resonate, you might want to check the other placements in your chart, okay? Uh, and even if it does resonate, sometimes all those other placements can give you more information. If you're dealing with love, it's Venus. Communication is Mercury. Your own emotions and internal emotions, Moon. Just It just depends, okay? I'm going to try a different format here and hope I can do this. Um, all right? So, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. There is a fan going because it's so hot. Uh, I, I live in California. It's hot, first of all, and it's I'm upstairs, so it's even hotter. And I'm really sorry because I know it's kind of loud, so I do apologize for that. But if I turn it down, I just, I cannot, I, I don't do well in the heat. All right. So I apologize. All right. Last shot. Oh, we're going to cut the deck here. Okay. So this is something new. So, so be patient with me as I work through this. This is a new spread for me. And I'm going to see how this works. All right. This doesn't work out. Well, you know, maybe I'll do you a whole different, another reading. Well, who knows? So let's just see an overall energy for you. Okay, this is nice. Oh, my card's munched right there. This is nice, Leo. We have a seven of pentacles, okay? You, August is going to be a month of you planting new, starting new things, first of all. August is going to be a whole new endeavor, a new chapter in your life. You're planting the seeds, or maybe you've already planted them. No, spirits said no. Some of the Leos have already planted the seeds. Energy is fluid. Time and solution energy is fluid. Some of this may have already happened. Some of this may just be happening as you're watching this. Maybe none of this has happened yet. Okay? Depending on when you're watching it. It's, these are timeless. But this, the energies are for August 2020. So I'm hearing that you've planted some seeds. And now you're just waiting for it to grow into fruition. It could be a job opportunity. It could be a love situation. Again, this is a general read. Take it as it resonates. But uh, and maybe you haven't planted the seeds yet and you're thinking about what you want to invest in. You want to plant those seeds in so you can nurture it and watch it grow. Okay, so that's the overall energy. So this is what's in your conscious mind, okay? We're going to do, well, let's do three, we'll do one, two, three, and then we'll work our way down, okay? So number one here is your conscious mind. You just want to find some balance in your life. You want to find... Um, what is true to you um, almost kind of like taking um, this is almost kind of like the karma card so to speak it's the card where you're looking kind of almost looking at the evidence or looking back well first of all you could be dealing with the legal situation so that might be in your conscious mind right now so that could just review very selective any of you just to point that out justice is about legal situations but it's about fairness. It's about the evidence. So you weigh the pros and cons. You weigh the evidence of what's happened in your life. And you look at the work maybe you've put in, how far you've come. <clears throat> so you balance. Uh, uh, analytically, you think about what you've done. And in your heart, you think about what really worked for you and what didn't. Does that make sense? So in your conscious mind, you're kind of weighing the pros and cons. So that's what I'm saying. You may have already planted seeds in the direction you want to go. You've, you've chosen that path and you planted the seeds. Or maybe you're still in that contemplation, you know, phase where you're trying to decide. So this is kind of what's going on internally within your unconscious. Maybe you're not maybe aware of. So you're wanting this to move faster than it's actually going. It may be going quite slow right now for you. All right. And maybe that's the pace you're meant to go. Okay, Leo. Um, if your unconscious is, you may be waiting for some sort of communication. 
I'm hearing the go-ahead. You want the go-ahead to be able to move forward. This Eight of Wands can also mean that you may not realize it, but this may move faster than you anticipated, all right? Now, this is kind of like um, what I would call your source of stability. What's helping you move forward right now? Stepping into your power. There you are, Leo. The Wands is all about fire signs. You are a fire sign. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. <clears throat> So you're stepping into your power. You know what you want. Um, it's it's just like it's flowing from your hand there. It's you waved your wand and it's like it's like you're sitting on your little throne and you waved your wand and all the magic is starting to happen right now. I'm hearing the magic will happen. The magic is happening. Something to that effect. All right. So we're gonna do four, five, six. Let's just see how this goes here. This is your tenacity. This is what is driving you forward. Judgment. Oh, this is beautiful. This is another card of reflecting on your past and looking at what worked, what didn't. Seeing how far you've come. I worked so hard to get to this point. And you're thinking, I can't stop now. I just cannot stop now. So the judgment card is kind of a rebirth. Things have happened in your life. You've put them to rest. And now you're moving forward. The next card would be the world card, which would be the end of a cycle. Um, so these are kind of like your aspirations now, your goals at this point. Page of Swords. You are investigating. You're focused. You have all these ideas. Creativity. I'm hearing creativity and ideas of what you want to do with your life. Okay. Um, beautiful. This is very beautiful. Um, okay. So we have short-term... Um, I don't know if it's short-term energy, potential, short-term right now, what you can do now. Okay. So, in the short term, you may have periods where you feel a little, uh, mm, I'm going to say alone. This is kind of like the left out in the cold card, but the five of pentacles is in this deck specifically. Although you may feel left out in the cold, you have the key here to your future. You have the key to your future. <clears throat> Maybe this was you before, you know, um, and you may have moments of, you know, ups and downs, as anybody would have. But what Spirit is saying here is the light is shining on the key. You have the answer. You just need to turn around, look at the key, or look in a different direction, is what, uh, not turn around, because that means you'd be looking back. Look in a different direction. You have the key to open the door. To, you have the key to open the door to your future. You do short term that's what you have right now so we're going to do the last three cards here okay we have um i'm going to say this is more of a spiritual internal um what's going on within you you're manifesting this you're talking to spirit. You're talking to your angels, whomever you, your higher beings. You're manifesting this. You are thinking about all the positive things you can do, the things that you can take care of on your own. You're manifesting it. Again, the magic. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be a negative and a positive now moving forward through the month of August. Okay. So these are going to be the strongest things, the challenges you may have. <clears throat> Hermit, there may be times when you need to spend time alone and really int be introspective and think about. There may be moments in August and moving forward um, where you may be unsure about what to do. Um, again, but this is saying you have the answers within. That's what the Hermit's all about. Okay? Taking a moment, you know, little by little, you're ascending, okay? To a higher vibration, to a higher, to your higher self. You're ascending. And so, Leo, the answers are not so much in the third dimension, um, although this is an earth card, it's the Virgo card. The hermit is saying that although you, you need to ground yourself, it's almost like the answers are not necessarily in the third dimension. It's within you and spiritually, okay? All right. Now, here's your positive. It's going to help you along and what you need to focus on. This is interesting because the five of cups... The Five of Cups implication is you have five cups. Three of them, it's like crying over spilled milk in the traditional tarot, crying over the spilled, the empty cups, okay? This is going to be your strong positive because I know it doesn't sound like it, 
and you may have focused on the negative. Your strong positive is going to be realizing that if, even though you may not be able to see it, there are positives to come. And there may be moments of apathy. You have two fives here. You're going to have some challenges maybe in August. You're, you're Leo. You pull forth that strength and that bravery. I don't know what else you have in your chart, but you are Leo. I'm a Cancer Cusp of Leo. My birthday is soon, July 21st. Um, when you when, this, when I upload this, it's going to be past that, I'm sure, or around that time at least. Um, so the Five of Cups, your strength here, what to focus on, is to try not to let that apathy pull you down into the abyss of negativity. You want to focus on the positive because many times we can't see what our future holds, okay? <clears throat> Let me see how much time we have here. We're doing okay. So what I want to do is just clarify a couple cards here. I'm going to clarify the Five of Pentacles, and then we will get an Oracle Guidance card, okay? Well, I kind of like this system. It's new. You're the first one that's getting it for this round of I decided to try this because I got kind of bored with the last one, and I kind of like to mix it up, so it's a little different for everybody. All right. Well, this came out in reverse. Uh oh there you are, Leo. So here's what I'm hearing here. Okay, so this is in the position of a short-term, I'm going to say issues. Um, it's it's short-term, so it's not going to last for long. But you may have moments of feeling alone, feeling a little... I'm, not here, I'm hearing depressed. <coughs> Excuse me. Something's choking me. I'm feeling depressed. You have a lot of strong energy, positive energy here. You're focusing. But you may have those moments where you may feel a little down and depressed. And it's going to be hard for you to find your strength. That's why it's in reverse. Um, it's interesting, though. This is your card that came out. So, um, you're going to have to... <coughs> excuse me. Asthma, probably. The fan's blowing right on me, so it's probably blowing dust at me. <laughs> From the fan. The fan has dust on it. I haven't... Anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... You may have moments where you're not feeling so much like yourself, like a Leo, being strong, being brave. And that, you know what, what I'm hearing here? That's okay. That's okay, because that's when you need, you can still manifest, that may be when you need to go into hermit mode and just recharge. The answers are within, and you're a very strong, I, can, I hear that you're a very strong individual. Um, when you want something, you go after it. You don't usually let... Again, it depends on what's in your chart, but in general, you don't usually let anyone stop you. You know, you're the, you're the, the um, what do you call that, of the kingdom? The lions or the, I don't say ruler of the kingdom, but, you know, they're pretty bold. They protect their, their pride. They protect their family. They're very protective of things. So they can, you know, roar when they need to, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, I'm not going to dwell on that. But So you may have the moments where you may feel depressed and you're... you're your courage and your bravery isn't quite where you want it to be. You're just not yourself. But that's okay. We all have our down moments. And that's when you just need to take a little time to... It's interesting because you have to step into your power here and a little depression. And you have two fives here. So that's when you need to find the power to get you back up to where you need to be. And look, there's the sun. That's also ind indicative of Leo. So this is upright. All right? So have no fear because the sun will shine. All right, let's just do the five of cups here the two fives and then um i do have earth magic oracle cards which i haven't really used i don't think at least not recently i may have used it once but not really in the readings okay that's all right i'll take them very quickly two of cups two of cups wheel of fortune seven of swords and death okay and then i'll check out the bottom of the deck just to see Two of Cups. So this could have to do with a partnership, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be about love either. It could be work. It could be family, friends, but it could be love. I, however, see this as masculine and feminine side. I am hearing that sometimes you're following your heart and sometimes your mind might get in the way and take over. And that's when you start focusing maybe on the negative, okay? So you need to balance out your thoughts and what your heart wants because sometimes that can cause conflict. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. A lesson has been learned here. A big lesson has been learned here, and again, I feel like you are, you are, whatever you are doing in your life and how you handle it, Leo, is 
orchestrating, manifesting your fate and your destiny. You know what I mean? You can't control that completely, but you can help. Uh, oh, shoot. I'm moving forward. Right. I'm moving forward. And you have the Seven of Swords and the Death card. So the Seven of Swords is about lies and deception. I hear that you are maybe deceiving yourself that maybe you can't do this. That needs to end. So you can transform and do what it is you need to do. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. Three fives. And fives are all about, um, underneath that is the Nine of Pentacles, independence. Okay? And there's the Justice card again, just so you know. So the truth is important here. Your own truth is important here. The Five of Swords is also about challenges. This is going to be, this is very challenging to you, Leo. I feel whatever it is you're going through, it's not that you don't think you can do it, but it's going to be very challenging for you, and there may be moments where you don't feel like you're strong enough to, to um, uh, be persistent, and I can't think of the word right now, to keep going is what I'm trying to say. It was a different word, but okay. So these are the Earth Magic Oracle cards, okay? Let's see what we can get. Just to give you a little, well, a little guidance, I was going to say, but the card popped before I could finish my sentence. A little guidance moving forward with August and moving forward. The wolf, the instinct. Interesting, because, you know, to me, I mean, the lion is a cat, and then the wolf is a dog. So it's almost, to me, like um, masculine, feminine energy in the animal world. Let me get to Wolf, and I'll read from the book. But you, you're going to have to rely on instinct, which I think this is beautiful. You have lost touch with your instinctual sensitivities. It is this, and that's going to be with these moments. It is the result of cultural and or religious prescriptions dictating that anything wild and instinctual is threatening and therefore has to be controlled or eliminated. Now is the time to overcome this limited mindset and tune into those instinctual cues. Let the spirit of wolf be your teacher and call upon this benevolent being for help, identifying what those specific cues are saying. Shed some of your inhibitions with the only guideline being to, quote, do no harm. Experiment by getting out of the straitjacket of familiar societal norms and listening to those sensations in your gut that are trying to give you a message. You have the key, the answer's within you. It may be a warning or urging to take action of some sort. Take some deep breaths and simply notice what your bodily sensations are telling you. Your mind will be the receiver of that information and your body and mind can learn to work more closely with each other once again. Your mind and your body, your heart, and what you think, this is the, the partnership. I think the partnership is within you, Leo. Okay? So, I mean, obviously with the Oracle card, instinct is very important moving forward. So, your mind may tell you one thing, but what does your heart and your soul say to you? Follow that instinct. Well, Leo's, this is what I have for you. I hear that August is a month of planting those seeds if you haven't already and reflecting on the past and using those lessons to your advantage moving forward and whatever it is you are embarking on i do believe you will have success you have the sun card and there may be moments they may be those down moments those little valleys in between but have no fear because although you may not feel like yourself depressed or you may be introspective just take that time to really i mean the magician card, can you see on top of this person's cloak or whatever it is they're wearing? It's the eight. Infinity sign. The possibilities are endless for you, Leo. Okay? So do keep that in mind. All right. Well, if this resonated for you, Leo, uh, I hope this helped in some way. And if it did resonate, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoy these reads. And... Uh, the love reads will be coming up too, so be looking for that if you're in a love situation. Those will be coming up next after these. Um, that's why I get these out earlier, so I can get the love reads out before the beginning of the month. So you're, you're, you know, I have to start recording these way earlier, but it is the time period of August 2020. Have no fear. 
Um, but again, energy is fluid. So I mean, if you're, you know, you watch this in July, this could already be happening in July. You know, it doesn't have to be just in August, if that makes any sense. Do subscribe and join the tribe if you haven't already, and do comment. I would love to hear if this resonates, and how, and if you like these readings, I appreciate that. Okay? Oops, I meant to turn that off. Uh-oh, okay. Okay, I thought it said 22. Never mind. Sorry, I'm checking the time to make sure I don't get cut off. Do follow me on Instagram and Facebook also, because on, on Instagram, um, I, I will, I'm doing live sessions now. I'm going to be doing live sessions. So do check me out there. And I will be going over to Facebook too. I'm going to try to see if I can transfer those over when I do those live. You won't be able to see the chat, but you'll be able to see the video. And I'm hoping I can figure out a way to do it because I do this on my phone uh, to bring it over to Facebook. I mean to Facebook, to YouTube. So y'all can and view it if you'd miss it on, on Instagram. And once I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm working my way up, getting there, um, then I can go live on. I'm looking forward to that on YouTube. All right, Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you will join me again. I do daily reads, so come join me Monday through Friday. Friday, I do a weekend read. Um, and check out those daily energies. All right? Maybe if you, if you subscribe and join the tribe, if you haven't, and hit the bell icon button, when the love readings come out, you'll get that notification too. Okay? Thank you so much, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you'll return. Okie dokie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Peace out.